For many years now, doctors have noticed an alarming rise in colorectal cancer in people under the age of 50. Hasn't been exactly clear what's behind this increase. But now we've got some new research that's really grabbing people's attention. It suggests diet may be at least one piece of the puzzle. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here now with a closer look at what that study uncovered. Well, Karen and Devin, the rise in cases in younger people actually led to the recommended age for colonoscopies being lowered from 50 to 45. But doctors would much rather find a way to prevent those cases of colon cancer from occurring in the first place. And that's why solving this mystery is really so important. As the saying goes, we are what we eat, but it's a lot more complicated than that. The way we use our carbohydrates to make our energy the way we use proteins and everything and amino acids from our, from our diet and other exposures, there's really a very strong relationship with, with cancer incidence, and that's really something that's not been described before um, in colorectal cancer at all. Dr. Sunil Kamath led a research team at Cleveland Clinic to study samples of metabolites. Those are substances created when the body breaks down food. Their results show people under 50 with colorectal cancer had lower levels of citrate compared to older people with colorectal cancer. Citrate is created when the body converts food into energy. There were also differences in protein and carbohydrate breakdown, which could suggest red meat and sugar intake may be related to developing colorectal cancer at a younger age. Dr. Kamath says more research is needed, but there's enough evidence to suggest it's a good idea to reduce red meat and sugar in your diet. Certainly um, limiting red meat consumption for sure. We've known that as a risk factor for colorectal cancer for a long time. And so I would certainly say our data supports that. Um, additionally, you know, we, we know that obesity for sure is a big risk factor for developing any cancer, including colorectal cancer. Now, it may be that certain people are more susceptible to suffering damage from the compounds formed when red meat and sugar are broken down by the body. Identifying those people could actually help them make important diet changes before that damage is done. But safe to say, most Americans could benefit from cutting back on red meat and sugar anyway okay. at any okay. age. Yes. So obviously yeah. this is a piece of the puzzle, but it's not the whole answer. No, in fact, researchers actually are exploring several other potential causes as well. Interestingly, one study found colorectal cancer deaths in people age 34 and under were actually more common in the Midwest and Great Lakes region and less common mm. in the Southwest California and Mountain West regions. So that geographic difference may also be a clue in terms of diet, exercise, or maybe some other exposures we don't yet know so yet. Often we end up higher on obesity scales yeah. than, than other parts of the country, so exactly. it all fits. Yeah. Exactly. Right.